great story. What's also a great story? Beneficial rain. And if you're tired of it, even better conditions for you as we start to dry things out. This is a great picture from Teresa Watkins in Lake Levon. We did have a significant amount of rain in many locations today, but notice the lake levels. The problem is that around the watersheds, we didn't have that heavier rain. The more north and west you were, the less likely you received more than a half of an inch. The higher numbers were south and east, so we didn't really help the watersheds too much with today's rain. Here's the bigger picture. Notice the six hour loop. We go from so wet to looking pretty good. Lighter shower still around for a few locations moving off to the north and east, but we've even had a couple of breaks in the clouds. I think really our big issue tonight will be just some low clouds and patchy fog, but even that is going to move out of here getting into tomorrow. So the lighter showers around the Metroplex continue to dissipate and same goes for some of the activity we've seen toward Jacksboro and Mineral Wells and up toward Bowie. Some lighter showers there, but those will also move off to the north and east. So that's the trend as everything starts to quiet down our coverage less than 20% within the next hour. Check out the temperatures. It kind of looks like earlier today, right? Upper 40s, low 50s. We have not moved all day long and I don't think we'll move much through tonight. Maybe just a few degrees cooler than what our temperatures are right now for your morning lows. Winds still have a northerly component about five to 10 miles an hour and that's going to continue for us as well. Bigger picture, upper level system. We've been tracking this thing for days. Well, it's uh, picking up a little bit of speed and it's going to continue to move off to the north and east and take a lot of this moisture with it. So once it's northeast of here, we dry out our forecast and for a while it doesn't look like much significant rain will be around for us. So bottom line, our rain ends over the next few hours and we will start out Tuesday kind of cloudy, more of a north wind still around, even northwest wind wrapping around that low pressure. So a little bit of a breeze tomorrow starting out cloudy. The difference though will be in the afternoon hours. Some of those cloud cover starts moving out. So from west to east, we'll eventually get to see a little sunshine by late tomorrow afternoon, which will be a nice change for us. Temperatures overnight. We'll hang in the upper 40s. Notice the clouds, even some low clouds early tomorrow for the commute. But as the day goes on looking better, we are inching closer and closer to what's normal. 66 is the normal high temperature at DFW. And we're expecting some lower 60s. Still pretty nice for tomorrow afternoon and then even warmer by the time we get to Wednesday. So your overnight low hometown forecast anywhere from 45 to 47 degrees. Still a few spotty showers for the next few hours, but not a whole lot happening. And you'll hear us talk about a pretty quiet weather pattern for the rest of the week. Check out the next seven days. Now, for now, I'm keeping the forecast dry. The only day that we could see potentially some changes will be on Thursday, but I think generally east of the Metroplex, a few showers. Overall, dry, partly to mostly cloudy skies each day, but notice the temperatures. We wake up in the mid and upper 40s, and those highs will climb into the upper 60s, low 70s. A great way to end spring break.